Aloha, welcome back to my channel, Homeschooling Paradise. This is Magali, and in this video, we're talking about the holiday homeschool plans. So this video is part of a collaboration hosted by Daveen from Calm in the Chaos Homeschool and Shana from Homegrown Homeschool. So make sure to check out their uh, YouTube channel. It's going to be in the description box below. And then also make sure to check out the playlist below also and in the playlist you can find a lot of other uh, homeschooling mamas that are all talking about their holidays homeschool plans so i'm gonna start with thanksgiving thanksgiving is right around the corner and um, i have a lot of things that i got for thanksgiving um, so first thing is so i have a lot of these um drawing so these are last year we did this um so we actually like color them and then i laminated it uh, so the kids can use it as a placemat when we eat food so we may do another one this year i don't know because we did it uh, some last year let's see how the kids are gonna what they're gonna want to do um and then I had this from last year as well. I had a Thanksgiving bingo. So these are all laminated that I did last year. So it's really nice to still have them. Uh, so we're gonna do some bingo. Okay, so the little cards, I laminated them all as well. So we can play with these. The only thing is some, I wish that they had the word, what is it? Uh, because some stuff I don't know actually. <laughs> Me being uh, French. Uh, so yeah, I did get this from uh, Amazon so we can do the little turkey and then we can write what we're thankful for so I haven't opened it yet but I'm excited to get this and also got some decorations I'm gonna show you a little picture of our decoration um, and then I got I printed these uh, two for the kids I'm gonna put anything that I'm gonna show you I'm gonna put the link below on uh, where I got it or if it's Amazon or the website so these are little books for Thanksgiving I would say like um, preschool or kindergarten so we can uh, cut these and then create a pattern the other side there's so many there's like 60 pages uh, so we can do as as well here and then let's see so we can cut we can have them cut it um, and then uh, build a little square we can do the counting um, they can write the words so I'm excited to try this there's a lot of pages so we're gonna start probably like um this week to do this uh, so these are all the things that i have for thanksgiving okay so first thing i have a advent calendar for my son instead of getting usual like chocolate i decided to get the little legos um so i just received it from amazon and then there's little doors that they're gonna be able he's gonna be able to open and then get the tours um so for my daughter i got uh the same, similar to that but it's uh making i think it's uh making like um jewelry or a bracelet or things like that i haven't received it yet uh, so i'll show you just a picture from amazon so i'm excited to get uh tours like uh, the calendar like that is the first time that we do it last time we did the chocolate and i didn't want to do that um so let's see what we have we have the fun schooling journal for christmas uh there's two different kinds there's the regular christmas one or this one in the sun we live in hawaii so i wanted to get this we did start it last year but we didn't continue it um i was not really doing homeschooling like we really more like um regularly so this one if i show you a little bit inside um it's really nice i have a lot of books for homeschool for fun schooling journals uh so they can write their name their day one we can do uh gifts to make or buy the advent activities letter to santa there's a countdown they can cut out and put in the calendar and then color me day two uh, decorating plans, more color me, and then day three, do you have a favorite Christmas poem? And then we're going to do some cards, Christmas card that we can send out. I had to reprint it because I realized I printed uh, both sides, a favorite holiday food. And then there's a recipe of uh, something to cook. So I'm excited to do this. Every day we're going to do our little uh, fun schooling Christmas book. Um, I'm also going to put this 
link. I don't think that we're going to do it, but because I have so many other things, but I did found this countdown to Christmas. Uh, every day you can do something. So I did print it out. And then if we want to do it, we can, it tells you, uh, 24 days, I mean, 25 days of uh, things to bake cookies or things like that. So I'll see if I'm going to, um, actually use it. And then I did get the, uh, nativity scene craft we're not really religious but I think it's important to uh, talk about the origin of Christmas uh, so we're gonna work a little bit on that they can cut out these one Mary Joseph and then uh, color it and then put it in the scene so these are nice and then I found already had some um, lots of different one uh, paper to color this was from last year i did print the elf so we do the elf uh every year we don't really do like that he does like crazy thing but just hiding and then uh the the kids as soon as they wake up they have to go look for the little elf we have two of them they're high they're in the uh christmas decorations so whenever I decor decorate for Christmas and I'm gonna take it out and then hide it so uh, December 1st it could come out um, I do have more uh, toddler coloring books so we love coloring here um, so the kids can use it and then the last thing that I have is this book so this book is from Ansley Armin uh, from the founder of wild and free um, I got it last year, but I actually didn't really use it either, but I did go this year and put some tab on uh, what I would be interested on in making. So I was thinking to, uh, I can make a fall uh, felt uh, leaf crown. So it gives you exactly the instructions on what to do. The other one that I picked. And then there's the hand embroidered uh, star. So I don't know, I think Elijah is a little bit too young at five, but I was thinking maybe to do that. And then we can do the snowflake, um, ajos con leche, so we can try to do this as well. So there's a lot of different things. And then, um, oh yeah, the uh, nature stamped ornament. So uh, this book seems really nice to be doing. Uh, so these are all the things that I'm planning to do for the holidays in December. Uh, we may not to get to do all of it. And then our curriculum may, uh, we may real like take it more slow for the curriculum if my husband calls so i'm not sure exactly where i am <laughs> but okay so uh yeah i'm not sure uh how it's gonna all fit in our schedule but i'm gonna try my best to do all that to keep it festive for the kids and then to do a lot of activities with them this was all our holiday homeschool plans. I hope that you like this video. I would love to hear what are your plans or do you do any of these activities or um, any extra that you want to share that maybe I'm going to take and then put it in our um, holiday homeschool plans. And also make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Give it a thumbs up. And just remember that this video is part of a collaboration hosted by Daveen from Calm in the Chaos Homeschool. And then also by Shana from Homegrown uh, Homeschool. Make sure to check out the playlist also below in the description box. It's going to be with all the other homeschool mamas that are sharing their holiday plans. And uh, you can check out their videos. And then I'll say you thank you for watching. And until next time, mahalo.